to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make translucent pictures. So first, you want to prepare your photos that you want to make translucent today. And you want to trim them out and cut the sides off into the sizes that you're comfortable in. And over here, I'm just using my paper cutter to make sure that I have my sides straight and neat. fresh sheet of laminating film. I got mine from Daiso which costs around $2 per packet and then after you take them out there will be a thicker side which is more sturdier and harder to bend and one side that is more filmsy. to separate the filmsy part and the sticky part uh, to place your photos in. It can be quite difficult to separate them and it may take some time but it's completely normal. And after you're done separating the filmsy side away from the sticky side, you want to place your photos in. And remember to place the picture side down facing the um, sticky side and then the white part on the filmsy side. Um, over here you want to be careful when you reposition it if necessary because um, in the process when you take out the picture you can tear it so you just really want to be careful. After that you can just repeat the process for all the pictures you have.
after you are done positioning your photos, you want to place back the filmsy piece back on the laminating film. And you can use the method that I used. And at this stage, you can probably see air bubbles on the picture side, which you want to scrape them out so that the ink can stick on the laminating film. And your end results should look like that. Now you just want to take a pen knife or a scissors to cut the pictures you have on the same sheet out and it can be quite difficult to cut them out if you're using a pen knife because it's quite thick and after you're done cutting all the pictures out, you're ready for the next step. After you're done cutting and trimming your pictures, you want to prepare a tray with water. You can fill up the water first or you can decide to fill in later, it's up to you. But regarding your pictures, you want to take out the filmsy side again. Uh, again, it can be quite difficult to peel it off. So it can take some time again. But you just want to keep repeating for all the pictures that you have and then place them on a the tray. I decided to fill in my water after I place my pictures in. So after you have done filling in water into your tray as well, you want to let your pictures sit for about 5 minutes. I think that would be the most ideal duration. I left mine for a minute which was a bit too short. So when I rubbed it out, some of the ink kind of got rubbed out as well. So now you just want to keep rubbing out the paper away from the lamination film. The paper might get stuck on the lamination film after you've rubbed it off. But you can dip it in the water to remove them. You just want to keep doing that if any paper gets stuck on it. dabbing motion, you want to um, dry the picture you have and it's important to use a dabbing motion so that you don't rub any ink off and you want to repeat for all the pictures that you have. After you have done that, prepare a new laminating sheet and this time after you have separated the thin filmsy part from the sticky sides, 
you want to face the part that you've just rubbed off facing the sticky side and the already laminated side which is your picture side facing the filmy side you just want to repeat that for all the pictures that you have and over here I'm just positioning to see whether the picture would fit on the laminating film piece back on a laminating film and then you would probably see air bubbles again so you just want to push all of them out and it is important to push the air bubbles out from this side and you just want to repeat the process for all the pictures that you have and then you're ready for the second cutting. Over here I'm just separating the pictures into singular photos so that it's easier for me to cut. And I would say using a scissors is much better than a pen knife because of the reason I said just now. And over here I'm just completing all the photos that I have. So this is your end result and remember to stay safe and healthy and I'll see you next video. Bye!